It is the 26th of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Hope everybody had a good day yesterday. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Long Valley Supervolcano Caldera Rattled by Earthquake Swarm. Mammoth Lakes, California. A series of six tremors have erupted at Long Valley Supervolcano Caldera over the last 24 hours. Two yesterday and four tremors today. Uh, this could be the beginning of a small of a swarm, so we'll keep monitoring the events and look for updates. It's a very large volcano in California. Strong activity continues at Indonesia's Mount Lukan volcano. Uh, the head of the Data Center for Information and Public Relationships Relations of the National Disaster Management Agency. Wow, said uh, Lukan was shaken by another volcanic tremor in Tomhon. In addition, the volcano stirred by one to three shallow tremors every five minutes. If the activity continues to increase, the volcano officials fear an eruption could be imminent. The volcano remains at alert status three for now. The public is uh, admonished to monitor the news for the latest updates about the volcano. And a two and a half kilometer exclusion zone remains in effect around the volcano's perimeter. Got a volcano off the coast of uh, Russia, the Kamachka area. Sh Shivalch volcano spews ash 10.7 kilometers above sea level. Uh, that gets into the flight paths and the weather systems, of course. Uh, the volcano on Russia's far eastern Kamachka Peninsula on Thursday ejected an ash cloud to as high as nearly 11 kilometers above sea level. The news agency reported an ash column from the volcano rose to a height of 10.7 kilometers. There was no immediate threat for the population and no emissions of the volcanic dust were monitored in neighboring villages. And a couple earthquakes to go along with it. 11,000 fish deaths in Little Beaver Creek, a mystery. Now this is outside of Dayton, Ohio area. The large amount of deaths occurred on Little Beaver Creek in Kettlering from research uh, about three miles. The acting law enforcement supervisor for the Ohio Department of Natural Resources Division of Wildlife District 5. Where were they going? Spring fish kills have been linked to lawn chemicals sprayed on larger properties just before a rainstorm. The chemicals quickly travel with water runoff into the area streams, and they're thinking this might be the case this time. But uh, the dead include bass, catfish, suckers, darts, salamanders, frogs, and crayfish. And the kills were reported on April 17th and 21st. Uh, so we got a situation going on there. Chemical spills, something's going on. Volcano Watch, heavy breathing in Santorini, and that's the Greek uh, volcano uh, the myths of Atlantis was based on, or some of the stories. Uh, they're going on about how they've got buildings built all the way around this, um, this volcano crater that's um, under the water. And uh, if this thing swells and goes, all these these homes are, are definitely going to be destroyed for sure. And uh, it's a very big volcano that happened uh, a couple thousand years ago. And mystery boom and shaking in Georgia identified as earthquake? Question mark. Uh, a mysterious boom that shook portions portions of Appling late Monday was confirmed Tuesday as a minor earthquake, according to Columbia County authorities. Uh, the event, which registered a 2.1 magnitude on the Richter scale, uh, was located near Columbia. Emergency Service Director Pam Tucker said the trembler was not listed on national earthquake monitors. It was not listed, but was confirmed by seismologists at the Savannah River site, she said. This would explain the loud boom and shaking felt by many residents. Nuclear peril. Why Fukushima is a greater disaster than Chernobyl? That is an understatement beyond means. And, of course, everybody's seen the video of the teen girl falling through the sidewalk, a uh, massive unseed sinkhole in China. She's just walking down the street talking on her phone, straight down. 
Uh, luckily, a cab driver witnessed this, and he jumped down and saved her. Pretty good video, if you haven't seen it. Over to the RSO E-Quick. Um, nobody else has really got anything new going on besides war drums and the economy stuff. Flash floods in, the ha in Haiti and the Dominican Republic. I mean, it's extreme uh, rain, landslides. Uh, they're saying like 11,000 people have been displaced uh, due to flooding and whatnot. Uh, the situation's ongoing. They're expecting heavy rain uh, throughout the week. Of course, the volcano activity off of Mexico City, the, the Popo volcano is still um, trembling ongoing, uh, causing a lot of concern uh, to 19 million people living uh, directly underneath of it. Uh, and... It's like we got a nuclear vent in the Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant. Uh, let me get here. Strange jellyfish-like creatures swarming a coastal nuclear power plant. Um, it, may, it may sound like the premise of a cult horror flick, but the invasion has prompted officials at the Diablo Canyon facility in San Luis, California to curtail operations for at least a few days. Uh, here we go. Salps do not usually go coastal. They don't usually go along the coastline. Ordinarily, they'd live further out to sea. A scalp expert and research director at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in Massachusetts, it sounds like they were brought in by current or blown in by wind. Um, they say salps live about a year. Uh, they're quite elegant animals, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they're clogging the, the cooling intakes uh, for the nuclear reactor. Uh, basically, these things don't usually hang out along the coastline, and uh, this could be just another piece of the puzzle. You know, why are these salps so far away from home and clogging up nuclear generating plants? Uh, that's about all new RSOE's got going on tonight. I want to go to e, &E News. Uh, very important story uh, for the seafood lovers. Let me get to it real quick. Alarmed by the widespread, widespread reports of visibly sick, deformed seafood coming out of the Gulf of Mexico, state officials have closed area waters to shrimping this morning, April 23rd. The waters will be closed indefinitely as scientists run tests in an effort to get a handle on a situation that is fast becoming a full-blown crisis in the Gulf Coast. The closures including all waters in the Mississippi Sound, Mobile Bay areas, Bon Secour, Wolf Bay, and Little Lagoon marked the first official step in responding to an increasingly urgent reports from fishermen and scientists of grotesquely disfigured seafood from the Louisiana to the Florida Panhandle. Uh, I am deeply saddened but not surprised by the shrimping closures and uh, blah blah blah. They applaud the, the move by the state officials to put consumer safety first. Two years a little late, don't you think? Um, they shut down this fishing um, during the initial BP oil spill crisis when they were spraying Corexit. Uh, declared them all safe, sniffing the seafood, no oil, we're good to go. Enjoy your buffet. Now they're shutting this down. Uh, no fishing for two years or indefinitely until they figure out what's going on with this and we all know what's going on with it it's the correct set in the oil okay back to any news japan tv news program films plant life mutations in tokyo fascinated dandelions reported quote very often and that's where they all bulge into this big nuclear mess of thick stems and 30 heads on the flower and and uh, some pretty because it grows so rapidly it affects by the radiation better much like uh, infant children Here's a bunch of crap out of CNA. CNN. No clear answers why so many kids born outside exclusion zones are sick years after the meltdown. Fukushima's only 7% as bad as Chernobyl. Well, CNN says it's 7% as bad. We're all good to go. My hand's covered in paint. UPI active geological fault lines lies directly beneath Japan reactor. Extremely uncertain if it can be reactivated. Let's hope they don't reactivate any of them. And Fukushima fallout lingered just above the ground to be inhaled. Chernobyl particles never came down or were rained onto surfaces without floating at low 
elevation, making Fukushima much, much worse than Chernobyl ever was. 150 kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi, radioactive plumes continued during summer. Fallout was resuspended during daytime by daily convection due to sunshine. Uh, a lot of this is going on with the, the ocean as well. The sea mist coming up and it's very radioactive and it blows with the wind. Uh, then it goes, it goes, it goes. New Gunderson interview audio. Hundreds turn out to see presentation at city council meeting near San Onfre nuclear plant. Mother speaks about brain cancers in the neighborhood. None of these nuclear reactors are safe. And more big earthquakes in 5.5 uh, hits Chiba outside Tokyo, followed by a magnitude 4 aftershocks at the same locations. Professor, Japan newborns, newborns were treated like guinea pigs for study of nuclear weapons and radiation. Stillborn babies secretly shipped to the United States for research. And a wall nearly 100 feet tall to be built underground at Fukushima Daiichi to prevent further spread of radioactive contamination. Construction begins tomorrow, ends June 2014. And of course, Fukushima Daiichi reactors are riddled with meltdown holes. We have three confirmed China Syndrome reactors. Uh, I don't think 100 feet deep is going to help the meltdown. That stuff's just going to keep going. Um, again, the insanity continues. If I missed anything, please uh, leave your comments or attach your videos. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.